put our behind right here. Then you put one foot right here. And then you jump in the pit. Oh. And then you would put little dominoes around the pit or little wooden sticks. Oh. And then eventually, while you were down there, you would just do a talk on there. Because it gets pretty loud in here. Oh. But down there, you can project your voice a little bit. Oh. And some people were crazy enough that they would be walking back and forth between the pendulum while they're doing their talk. And then people would stand here because they were hoping they would get hit. Be like, hit up, hit up, hit up. <laughs> uh, but eventually we ran into a trouble. Uh, one of our female staffers, while she did what I just described, uh, she had one extra hurdle that most guys don't have. She was wearing uh, high heels uh, while she did that. So when she went from here to there, her heel broke and she landed on the ground with a, a twisted ankle. That wasn't bad enough. While she's down there going, my heel, my heel, the pendulum came and smacked her in the head. Oh, oh no. We're no longer allowed to go down there. So we had to come up with a, a different way to reset the, the pegs. And everybody submitted their ideas. My idea was rejected right from the get-go. Because I thought, we could always, we always have young kids standing around. Why don't I grab them by the legs, dangle them down there, and have them reset it real quick. They didn't really like that one. Uh, so what they did is they came up with this device here. So what it is is we have like little batteries that have been hollowed out and we ran threaded wire through there and we put tension there. So once, once the wire is going through all those little pegs and through the backside of it, all we have to do is put a little bit of tension. So we took this old broomstick and converted it so that we can actually have a little divot here. So then I can take that little divot and apply some tension. So first, I'll, re I'll pull this a little bit closer uh -huh. to reset it. Oh, how you did it. Then, oh. 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 See? and of course I'll off by like seven or five, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, hit one. Yes, yes finally. And that's how we reset it nowadays, so we don't have to climb down there anymore. We have about three hours worth of pay, so every three hours we have to reset this. That's not that big deal. Uh, the pendulum we don't have to worry about, because now we're running it electronically. Most of this pendulum, uh, you would have to, like every couple of hours, push it and start it going until it would run out of steam, and then you have to push it again. Uh, what we've done now is we put a round electromagnet way up there. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look up, it's right there. So that round electromagnet sends a current of electricity that pulls the wire in every direction. So the wire is made out of metal, and when the metal wire gets near the edge of the electromagnet, the electromagnet activates, pulls the wire in every direction, and the laws of physics then take over. When you pull the wire from the same direction on opposite sides, they cancel each other all the way around. But when the wire is closer to that wall as opposed to this wall, it gets enough of a tug to keep it going 24-7. So as long as we don't run out of power, this experiment never changes. And what John Leon Foucault uh, Bernard did with this device is he proved that the Earth is spinning underneath. So, he knew the loss of motion during his time, this is 1851. So once he sets this in motion, uh, unless you push it, pull it, kick it, or do something to it, it's gonna travel in a straight line back and forth. Now all you have to do is watch it long enough and you'll see that the ground underneath is turning. And it's turning because Earth is turning. So that's why we put the little sticks there because as the ground moves, that whole freight slides over in that direction and the sticks get knocked down every six minutes. So if you stand here for six minutes, you can watch the planet gradually turn and twist, and you can see another stick fall. 